es un pájaro a volar. Jason's restorative biotin pure natural shampoo strengthens and repairs damaged hair. It's enriched with biotin, vitamin B5, and ginseng, and it has no parabens, SL stuff. It doesn't have any bad stuff in it. So this is the stuff I'm using now for shampoo, and it's very, I like it, I like what it smells. And then I use Cream of Nature's Argan Oil, with Argan Oil from Morocco, Intensive Conditioning Treatment to Condition My Hair, which is currently in my hair now. It makes my hair smell amazing, and it makes my hair really, really soft, so I love it. And so when I, I, what I plan to do... Hopefully my hair goes back to its natural texture in the next in the near future. Recently I've been using virgin coconut oil. It's the um, re unrefined organic coconut oil that you get. It was like twelve dollars. It's a little expensive, but it really it's the only oil that neutral that actually penetrates the shaft of your hair. So it keeps your hair moisturized. Other like things that claim to moisturize your hair usually just coat your hair. It doesn't actually get inside. Inner parts of your hair, so coconut oil is the first thing to go. And I just bought some. Sorry, I'm like not prepared. I'm supposed to be prepared. Um, just bought some Cantu Shea Butter uh, Natural Curling Cream, Coconut Curling Cream. It's this stuff. My friend uses this stuff, and it makes her hair look amazing. So I'm hoping when my hair gets back to its natural state. Um, I will be able to use this and it'll make my hair healthier and grow out longer and all of that. Um, so, um, basically, my solution is I'm on a hair journey to get my hair back to its natural state. So every month, I'm going to post a video of what my hair is doing, how it's acting. Right now, you can't really see because of this lighting. I thought this lighting would be better, but it's not. So I'm just going to post pictures at the end of my hair, I guess. Um, you know, whatever. Today is the day I'm going to get my hair trimmed. My hair right now, um, you can't tell right now, but I know where it is. Um, it is, like, right here on my back. So I plan on getting it cut maybe, like, up here, like, maybe an inch off, just for now. And then every, every few months, I'll get more inches off. I don't know. I'll plan it down, down the road. Um, I'm really anal about my hair being blunt. Like, OD anal. Like, I like my hair to be straight across. My, my hair in the front is shorter than the hair in the back, so ideally I would want it to all be like one all the way around length, but the back is blunt and the front is kind of like in layers. can never get my hair in the front to, lay, to get as long as it used to, so I'm hoping that by using different products and different things, it will help it out. Let's go back. I started taking biotin, okay? So <laughs> I looked on YouTube about some you know, forums and everything about biotin, and it works. It makes your nails super strong, it makes your hair grow super fast, but it makes your skin break out. You would think it would make your skin clear, considering hair, skin, and nails are all usually one thing. As you can see, I have a breakout here, and throughout, whatever, I broke out, and I'm prone to break out. Um, I've been breaking out since I was like 11. So, um, you know, but I finally got my, my skin under control to a clear state and the biotin just totally messed it up. So, I stopped using it and then my skin's clearing up. So, hopefully next time you see me next month, mm, yeah, my skin will look better. But anyway, um, so right now I've been wearing my hair. Okay, so after that whole treatment happened, I was totally freaked out. I usually wear my hair curly. So I, think I was scared of straightening because I thought it might fall out. So I was thinking, like, what do I do? So what I did was I washed my hair. I didn't even get it straightened. I was so pissed off I didn't want her to do anything to it. So I just, my hair was, she was wet, stripping wet straight. I went home. All I did was I washed it out because I wanted to make sure this stuff was out. I didn't know what to do. Washed it out with some shampoo and, um, and I put some conditioner in it. And I wore my hair... I put conditioner, I put coconut oil in it, I sectioned it off, put coconut oil all throughout it, and then conditioner on top of it, and then I put it in a low bun, and I put a scarf on it, and I wore a hat for two weeks, because I was like, I am not even going to touch my hair, I can't, I'm scared, like, so I just, I looked at it, and I, it's not going to fall out, so I figured I should just change my regimen, and just start over, gradually, so this is my hair journey, so, um, 
sorry if I'm looking down I'm reading this to keep myself on track I talk a lot so you know I'm trying to keep myself in check here yes my intentional products for the future like I said that can't you coconut oil I'm I'm gonna get some eco styler gel because I heard it keeps your hair very, it defines your curls even better than um, your nat in your natural state so I'm hoping to do that um, I'm gonna buy a silk scarf because my scarf always falls off when, I, when I'm asleep and I just want my hair to like so when I move around and stuff you know it's not getting soaked up by the cotton pillows my transition plan I plan on tra transitioning for a year um, a, a year before I cut it really short because I want to just start over for real like I want my natural hair to be in its nap like not manipulated by this keratin shit excuse my French and I'm trying not to curse too much for YouTube users you know it's got some kids on here I know so um, trying to get this nasty keratin I don't I'm scared so I just want to like start over and um, I think by next year this time well my next year since I got that stuff in my hair which will be October 20th I'm gonna just cut it to a bob like a long bob and by then it should have grown out from, from here here goes about six inches a year so that's about six inches from here I know the top will mostly be back to its natural state but I know that the ends will be kind of like still have some you know the old hair will be still in the ends but it's okay like it'll pro hopefully it'll be back to being its natural state but hopefully I won't have to um cut it off but I just want to gradually like start over and um get all the chemically damaged ends from the color and all that extra stuff and um yeah I'm a punk I can't go short sorry not this not that soon sorry I got cold um I'm gonna be posting pictures of a close up of my hair in the front and the back so you can see how the pattern is growing in and um I'm going to be making a video tomorrow because after I take this uh, conditioner out I'm going to straighten my hair and get it trimmed so you'll see what it looks like once it's straight and you'll see its length and then you'll see the length after I trim it and I'll look a little bit cuter than I do now so yeah so see you in the next video